見つかったかならば仕方ない邪魔する者は徹底的に排除する。以上好きにはさせないじっとしててね見て見てすごいでしょザコが生きがってんじゃねえぞサラー卑怯この世界じゃこれがルールだブリーチOkay, so I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm so glad I had my OBS open before I opened the game, but uh, that honestly came out of nowhere. Okay, so um, yeah, the Future Society's in the Summons banner will be coming soon for the April end of month, so we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at the units. Alright, so as you can see, the Future Society Cyber Zenith Summons, we're getting a new Orhime, Okira, and Notoria. So it's a three character end of month banner. This banner will be available the 30th at 4 a.m. for me, depending on where you are in the world, that time will be. Okira characteristics he is a ranged strong attack unit with weakening on all of his attacks. His strong attack 3 is a two stage charge attack. He has two soul traits, strong attack damage plus 20%, strong attack recharge minus 12%. Frenzy plus two, he has the enemies defeated gimmick. At 20 enemies defeated, he gets 20% berserker. 40 enemies defeated, he gets team slash party strong attack damage plus 20%. Increased status element chance against Quincy's and status element spiritual pressure boost plus 80%. As for the character details, I guess that's just pretty much explaining, I guess, what the unit is good against. Okay, so he's a power Quincy killer unit. So still no power soul reaper killer unit, unfortunate. Uh, he does have the two soul traits. We talked about that. NA skills are sprinter plus one, team slash party, recover stamina plus 20%, and poise. We went over the enemy's defeated gimmick. He has Havoc 20%, Devastation 60%, Damage to Weaken Enemies plus 40%, Weaken Defense, Sharpshooter, Status Summon, Spiritual Pressure Boost, Frenzy plus 2, we talked about that, The Fibrillator plus 5 seconds, Increased Status Chance against Quincy's, Long Stride, and Weaken Defense minus 100%. Um, yeah, this is a very great top tier unit. My only problem is he doesn't have the Soul Reaper Killer unit. I'm still itching for a new Power Soul Reaper Killer unit. So we have the Orihime here. Alright, so for the Orihime, she is a ranged normal attack unit. Her SA2 has a boost. Her soul trade is damage taken by 21%. So obviously, just from that. Oh, wait, hold on, never mind. Let's take a look. I was going to say she was a brave battle unit, but I looked down quickly to see some other skills. Enhancer, boosters, great for a NAD unit with a boost under SA2. Team slash party technique, attribute character, normal attack damage plus 20%. Flurry and guild quest plus 2. Killer effect and guild quest plus 50%. Range damage and guild quest plus 30%. And she has poise. Just some character details that you can read if you want to. I'll leave it right here. You can pause the video and look for yourself. And Orihime, she's a technique soul reaper killer unit. So she's going to be a uh, nad. Uh, Range unit for uh, Soul Reaper Guild Quest. Uh, her NH skills are Sprinter plus one, Long Stride twenty percent, and Dodge Soul Reaper damage fifty percent. Uh, Bruiser sixty percent. She's immune to paralysis, which is great. Uh, we talked about the Enhancer Booster. She has Sharpshooter, Range Damage, and Guild Quest plus thirty percent. Uh, ten. It's only ten percent out of Guild Quest, and we talked about the Flurry plus two that she will have in Guild Quest. Uh, yeah, that's Orihime, a great range nat unit for a uh, range Soul Reaper Weekend Guild Quest. So the Notoria, he is a melee strong attack unit with Lacerator on all of his ability. He has a Soul Trait Super Mind Link Slot Potions plus 5. Skill Super Mind Potions plus 5. 
Finally, slot potions plus five. Complete status immunity. Increase status chance and attribute enemies. Status element spiritual pressure boost plus 80%. Damage to lacerated enemies plus 60%. Just from looking at all these character skills, all three of them are OP. Mind, or excuse me, heart, Quince killer unit. The soul trait is the super mind link slot potion for that. NA skills, sprinter plus one, guard break havoc 20%. Um, he has Berserker, 40%, Defibrillator, plus 2 seconds, Strong Attack, Recharge Time, plus 12. Mind Link, Slot Potions, plus 5, Super Link, Slot Potions, plus 5, Frenzy, plus 2, Damage, Last Rate, Enemy, 60%. Complete Status Immunity, Status Element, Spiritual Pressure Boost, plus 80%, and an Increased Status Element Chance Against Mind Attribute Enemies. And they're the Arena Traits and other Arena Abilities, but... Oh, who plays Arena? I mean, if you do, then good on you. Um, so, oh, from the looks of this. Ooh. So we have the three new units, obviously. Then we have some newer units that came out earlier this year. Swimsuit. Yeah, the, uh, another swimsuit unit, another swimsuit unit. And some other units that we have here as well. And as you can see, oh, okay, so this is a 51 step up banner. This, that's a lot of steps. The last time we had a 51 step up banner was the New Year's banner, the 2024 Thousand Year Blood War version unit. That was the last one. So yeah, as you can see, that is a lot of steps. That's about a little over... About 10,000 orbs or more if you want to go for, you know, all 51 steps. And as you can see here, you are guaranteed one five-star character guaranteed at steps 5, 10, 15, 30, 35, 40, 45. And you are guaranteed one... Oh, wait, excuse me. No, I said that wrong. You're guaranteed one five-star character at steps 5, 10, 15, 30, 35, 40, 45. You're guaranteed a feature character at steps 25 and 50. Yeah. And this is just telling you the final step. You can just do as many times as you like, and it's just telling you the rates. And, uh, yeah. So that's it. Uh, are they going to have single summons? Yes, they are. All Kira's will be first. His will be the 15th. Next will be Orihime's. Her will be the 21st. Then we have the Notoria, his will be the 27. And so, uh, yeah, that's it. Overall, just taking a look at the units just from reading their kits. Uh, yes, all three of them are very much OP. So this is a very, very tempting banner to summon on. But not too tempting because 51 steps is absolutely wild. And, you know... It's just, you have to go in really, really deep if you want a 5-star unit. I mean, you are guaranteed one of the featured 5-star units at steps 25. But, yeah, um, overall, um, yeah, these characters are definitely very good. I'll go over the characters in detail a lot more in the Juju Shaman or Skip video that I'll do. But overall, taking a look at the characters and the banners, uh, yeah, I'd say this is a pretty stacked banner. Um, I would, just first impressions, I would rate this banner a, I'll say a, a 4 out of 5. Uh, you know, there's three end of month characters are good. Uh, Future Society, which is pretty new, so that's great. We get to do something new in here. Okay, uh, and you do get to choose a new character summon ticket that says 25 and 50. Okay, okay, I didn't see that. It didn't say it when I was looking in the banners down here, but it says it up here. So I'll give it a 4.5 out of 5 now. So it says 25 and 50, you, you do get to choose a new character summons ticket, but 51 steps is a bit too much. And with the ninth anniversary coming out soon, yeah, you pretty much want to save your orbs. And so, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. As usual, until next time.